Señoras y señoritas, ¿les gustaría participar en una clase de ejercicio con tacones altos? Y Bemachín nos tiene todos los detalles de este nuevo baile que está muy de moda. This is breaking news. For following breaking news, we first brought you on KIONRightNow.com after a plane crashed on takeoff at the Salinas Airport, killing one person. I'm actually holding a preliminary statement from the FAA. Uh, right now, you're taking a live look at the scene of that crash. I'm going to read to you what this statement says. Muchas gracias por su sintonía. Hoy fue el servicio fúnebre del soldado Javier Sánchez Jr., que falleció el 23 de junio en Afganistán. Two separate shootings, two teens dead. It was a deadly night on the central coast last night. Good evening. I'm Claudia Otero. One teen was gunned down last night in Salinas, and another teen gunned down early this morning in Castroville. Una primera pregunta, este día Facebook. Facebook, Aaron Van Hagen nos preguntó qué puede el condado hacer para combatir los crímenes pandilleriles en la ciudad de Salinas. Tienen 45 segundos para contestar. Tony. Creo una de las cosas muy importantes es el acceso a programas de prevención. We were told by hospital staff, and this, they're actually not confirming this information, but this is the information that's being given to them by authorities. 48 people were in that bus, 38 of them have survived, that means 10 of them are dead, they actually died there on the scene. Olga police telling me that the shooting happened at 9.45 this evening, two young men either in their late teens or early 20s were standing right in front of that house that you see there. Well, Olga Highway 68 remains closed and just a few minutes ago I was told by a CHP officer that it will remain closed till at least 9 p.m. Good morning, Hunter. I am at the command post here in Bonnie Dune. If you can just take a look over my right shoulder here, you can see some of the 61 fire engines. What you can't see is some of the firefighters who are actually sleeping on the ground between those engines. You The Basin Complex fire continues to burn near Tassajara Road on two separate ridges. The smaller of the two, just about 50 yards from where Battalion Chief Art Tranberg was standing by. It's always cranky and hard to put out. The heavy, thick smoke wasn't helping. It prevented helicopters from making water drops. The larger of the two fires was a few hundred yards away, and it continued to get larger. And as long as this piece doesn't come down any further than it is, we're safe. Minutes later, a hotshot crew was sent up this mountain to cut a line. A set of eyes was keeping watch over them from the top of the mountain. Stephen Kitchen was down below looking out for them and the approaching fire. And they expect like me and our other squad bosses to pay attention to, uh, to their lives, you know. I mean, I have to keep an eye out, like right here, see it's coming down. So I got to watch that and then, you know, if we don't have a lookout and they, they'll get burned over. And that can cost someone their life. I trust them and they trust me. What's the likelihood that that fire that we've been looking at in the last few minutes is going to jump over here? And you've been saying that if that happens, obviously we're all going to have to take off and leave and you're going to pull your crew from there. How yes, I have that trigger point. The three snag trees uh, will be the trigger point and I'll pull them off uh, for safety. And um, we're not, I, am, I personally am not expecting it to come down to that point. Minutes later, we were told we had to leave as we made our way out. The hotshot crews were quickly making their way down the mountain, and they started heading up the next hill, which had already been burned over. And you might be wondering what a spy pen is and how it works. Central Coast News reporter Claudia Otero got her hands on one and shows us it's a lot easier to use than you might think. This is a normal looking pen. It even writes, but if you look closely right there, you'll see there's a camera. Many private investigators use them. They are legal. In fact, we borrowed this one from Terry Davis, a Salinas private eye who sometimes uses it during his investigations. It's very easy to use. Right there, you see the on and off button. It's also the record button. What you do is you press it down for a few seconds until an orange light appears. There you see it. Then you click it one more time 
in your recording. It's as easy as that, and as you can hear, the sound quality is pretty good. When you're done recording, you unscrew the pen and then hook up the USB to any computer. Claudia Otero, your Central Coast News. Imagine this, it's Friday night or perhaps Saturday. You're sitting on the couch with your loved one, watching a movie, perhaps with a box of bonbons and bonbon. <laughs> This is a little uh, poodle mix, perhaps terrier. He is two and a half years old, not a puppy. He's an adult dog. Uh, sadly, he was surrendered to the SBCA. It all started with a meeting with the Patriots pilots giving us safety instructions such as how to eject if the plane is coming down. After meeting my pilot, it was time to get suited up. And even though I won't be needing this so-called lunch bag, I'll take it anyway. These L-39 jets were used by the military in the Czech Republic and about a decade ago were sent to the U.S. where they were assembled ever since. They've been participating in air shows throughout the country. We are the only civilian six, uh, six jet jet team in the United States. And then the fun began. I flew in plane number one, leading in the formation. In moments, we were thousands of feet up in the air. Patriot 1, traffic to you at 11 o'clock. For a few minutes, we flew in formation. And now we'll make a nice turn to the right, put a little bit of G on the airplane. Then each plane went its separate way. Just kind of enjoy the scenery. We did some sharp turns, some rolls, and the real fun began over the Salinas Valley. Roll it up and flip it upside down and push. And just kind of fly along here comfy like. And some inverted flying that seemed to last a lifetime. Just a nice day to go fly. A few moments later, all the planes reunited. We flew in formation for a few more minutes until it was time to land. I'm Claudia Otero in Salinas, your Central Coast News. Making it very convenient for people who need organ transplant surgeries. Olga? Absolutely. Well, great news for a lot mm. of people. Thanks, Absolutely. Claudia. Thank you. Hoy miembros de un comité en Sacramento rechazaron dos propuestas de ley. Following a developing story out of Morgan Hill in the search for Sierra Lamar, she disappeared almost a week ago. Yeah, in the 80s. So it'll be in the 80s in, in Gilroy. That's where I live, so it'll be very, very comfortable. Yes, and if you're on the coast, want to get away from that heat, enjoy the breezes, you'll get it. Okay, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Y les presento a nuestra mascota de la semana. Esta perrita tiene seis meses de edad. Es muy linda y se llama Blanca.